That is how we set up the Mega Tub. Here we have some new products. We have the original Tundra Tub XL. We have our Tundra Hut, and then we have our Mega Tub. We're gonna be going through how to set these up one at a time. So I'm gonna move a couple of these cardboard boxes out of the way just so they don't blow in the wind. The original, the sauna, and then our massive tub. Without further ado, I think uh, we'll show you the big tub first. So this is your mega tub box. A little hard to get out of the cardboard. As soon as you get it open, you slice the top. Be careful with what you're doing. You get this nice pump, you get a thermometer, these eight pound ice refillable bags. Look at this, you get some more beanies. Beige waffle beanie, black waffle beanie, little welcome card, you get your manual which has a bunch of information for you to get started. You have your warning card, which you should definitely read. You got spare parts. You have a floor mat. You got your mega tub bag. All right, so this is where the good stuff is. This pump, it's got a PSI gauge. Gonna show you the PSI levels that you're gonna need a pump to. It's got a bunch of different nozzles. These are extra, not for the tub. They're if you wanna blow up other inflatables, if you're at a lake, such as this. The one that you're gonna wanna use has this rubber cap on top. I'll come nice and close. You can see there's a bunch of these. So you basically just push that in and then you twist it so it gets right in there. For now, I ripped off those other pieces. Then we're gonna just screw this on. Let's get this tub going. It's heavy, so I would put it on the side, make it a little easier. There it is. Gonna put this nice backpack away if you need it for travel. You undo the buckle. Rip this, you could probably do it by hand. If you need a scissor, be very careful. I would keep the buckle if you do want to wrap it back up for the bag. But if the scenario occurs where you're moving or something like that, it's always a good idea just to have. You're gonna unwrap it and you're gonna see that we have protection over some of the IO ports. We're gonna make sure nothing flies in the lake here. We have the lid cover. So we got part one and part two here. The bottom side's gonna be this black and blue area. Top is gonna be here. Inside's gonna be this blue. You're gonna pump up right down here on this corner. Untwist this and you have to make sure it locks in. So you have to press down and then I'm gonna twist it. And now it's locked in. And now we can start pumping the heck out of this thing. It should take a couple minutes to blow up. It's quicker than you think. As you can see in the back, the Tundra Tub is a good entry point to your cold plunge journey. Now the Mega Tub here is a lot better for those who wanna have two people in it at once. If you're a bigger person, if you're a longer person, or if you're Shaquille O'Neal. As it starts to get a bit more inflated, what we will do is turn it on its side to finish the pumping. Where I am pumping, there's a little thing that shows you the PSI level that you need. So make sure that you get it. Pretty sick. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing it out of production. This one will get to 10 PSI as well. Now it doesn't have to be 10 PSI, that's just the max. You could get around like seven to 10. That's what I did on the main tub, it was at an eight. And we are done with this. Now I'm gonna make sure this is screwed back on. Wow, this thing is nuts. All right, I'm just gonna hop in so you can see it. This is the size, full leg span. I'm six foot tall. It's actually insane. There's a couple ways you can fill it. It's with a hose. You can fill it with lake water if you really want. It's pretty cold out here today. It's like in the 40s, which is actually a great temperature to do an ice bath at. I probably, I don't know where I'm gonna leave this. I may fill it up and just leave it here for a bit and then move it eventually. If you do have a chiller that you plan to use, which we do have two, they're not shown in this video, and they are in development still, we will be placing on the back side of this. And all you do is you hook them to the import outport ports over here down on the back. What you're gonna do is unscrew these. And when you have a chiller, this is a half inch nozzle for chillers. You're gonna get chiller wrap tape. So, and then you put the import up here. The out is gonna be over there. That's when you do get a chiller. For now, we are probably just gonna put cold water in it. So what we're gonna do is, if we do fill this with lake water right now, cause it's easier to just take buckets and throw it in, cause we're gonna need a lot of water. And when we do get the chiller hooked up, we're gonna put absolutely fresh, clear water. That way it stays fresher longer, doesn't mess up our chiller. Adjust your snap covers. You wanna tighten it as much as possible on this side. Lock right in nice and tight. You get the picture. This is the mega tub. Go get yourself one. <laughs> Join the tribe. Mm -hmm. 